Hey guys, myself Rakesh and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how do you read email body from a specific sender. So here the condition is from a specific sender, I should be able to read the email body. Is it possible? So let me show the demo a workflow which I have created and let me quickly run this and I'm going to keep my mailbox open. And here I would like to read only this sender, not the other ones. These are the self emails which was sent by me. So I would only out of all this email, I would only would like to read the sender. Okay. So here uh, the body is actually blank from the sender. You can see the body is actually blank. So it, it is actually reading that specific email. For example, instead of saying body, if I say uh, the subject line, right? Let me write subject and try to run it again. So out of all the hundreds of emails that you may have, I would like to only read a email which has come from a specific sender, one email or multiple emails from a specific sender. So how to do that? Let's see it. So here what happened? It is only pulling the required one. So how this is achieved? Let me show you. So for that, first of all, if you are very new to this video, then you must watch because there is a very, very important API setup steps for the Gmail API that you have to complete otherwise this automations will not be possible so how do you really complete that go to my channel and here i have explained the api uipath api on google this video and api gmail setup okay api gmail api so this is the uh, uh, setup where i have explained how do you create the authentication code secret key client id so entire video you must watch so once your uipath is set up then this activity sh you should learn okay so that is the note i would like to make before we proceed now here um, what is the activity i need to read email from a specific sender so what is that activity the activity here is get mail message and the get mail message activity is available here inside you can simply type it okay get mail messages or else if you would like to really see where exactly that workflow uh, is existing you go to integrations you go to gmail and here you have something called get mail messages okay this is the activity i'm using here so here if you leave this activity blank it's going to read everything and how it reads everything in the previous video i have shown it in this video we are very specific with our condition the condition is how do i read from a specific sender now to do that you have to write a syntax and many people may not remember the syntax so what you do simply drag and drop the gmail uh, get mail message activity right so get mail message activity drag and drop it here so in this one you can see there's already a syntax written how to write the syntax so this would help you to to understand how the syntax can be written let me show it in a bigger screen see it's pretty simple two double quotes learn the syntax and then you have to write from right from and you uh, within the within the parenthesis you write the email address then give a space then subject let's say you would like to filter by subject also if the subject contains so and so then only i want to read then you can also say subject and then within the parenthesis you write the subject title right has an attachment if you don't want you can remove however you like let's say i don't want to filter by subject i'll remove it i just want to filter by email address so instead of this, I will replace this with the required email address. It's quite simple. So let me enter. Okay. So this is the email address which I've entered. Now I'm going to hit on OK. All right. So this is done. So let me delete this activity. And for this one, um, the output of this activity is mandatory, right? Without the output uh, variable, it is not possible. So I have created a variable called emails or you can create a new variable and the variable type is a kind of a uh, array because it's going to read all the emails that you have defined. So how many emails I would like to read max is 30. If I remove it completely blank, it is going to read all my emails. If I want to restrict it to certain emails, let's say three or five, you can type it over here. And here is the output variable and the variable type. You must be aware. What is the variable type of this, which is a Gmail message. It's a you know, array of Gmail messages okay now after that simply use a for each loop pass that variable and here i am simply typing item dot subject so that is all you have to do now if i run this this is going to give me 
it, it is going to filter my email whose email is Rakesh uh, no that's 87 for you so whose email is that and what is the subject of that email it's going to read if there are multiple emails it's going to do that so up to your get message properties how you have said it's going to do the job for you so you can see it has pulled it okay very simple one but very useful one how do you really work with this is important so if you are in search of how to do it so this video will be helping you so thank you guys for watching it we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care and please do uh, help me by subscribing to the channel okay i need your subscription please do subscribe to the channel guys all right thank you we are going to meet in our next content bye bye